Now we'll look at the plastic flow passages in the mold. We saw this part earlier. Here is the sprue, runner, gate, and the part. Inside the mold, we use the same names. Here is the sprue, runner, gates, and the cavities which will form the plastic part. The common runner shapes are round and trapezoid. Sometimes half round runners are used. Runners are often oversized. The size of the runner should be large enough to allow plastic flow without a large pressure loss, but small enough to be frozen when the molded part has cooled. In other words, runner cooling time should not lengthen the cycle time. An important part of runner design is the runner layout. This is a balanced layout. A balanced layout means the plastic travels the same distance to each cavity. In an unbalanced layout, the flow distance varies. This results in flow rate and cavity pressure variations that cause variations in molded parts. If identical molded parts are a requirement, a balanced layout should